in uh, in true Honeydew Homestead fashion, I started a project and I forgot to start recording. But let me get y'all caught up. I purchased. Where's it at? Uh oh. I don't know if you can see that. It's a grease gun. Here's part of it. I was in the middle of assembling it. Um, it's really loud. I have the mic pointed towards me, of course, but the road is also pointed towards me, so I apologize for all the road noise. Um, I just put in a tube of grease. So, first things first, when you buy these from the big box store, the Home Depot, Lowe's, wherever, the particular one that I got came in a package like this did not have any grease in it. I had the foresight to go ahead and buy a pack with it, but if it doesn't say it comes with grease on the package, make sure you get a backup. Now you notice this is like a little baby grease gun that I'm putting together. What is this? This is not, uh, you're not gonna see Let's Dig 18 using one of these, uh, but I only need it. This is literally the only thing I have to grease and I might be picking up a trailer in the coming weeks and I might have to pack uh, pack the bearings like once a year. I don't know. Um, but I don't really need anything too much because this is literally uh, the only thing that I need to use this for at the moment. So. This is though my very first grease gun. So if this thing just like explodes with grease, um, you'll know why, <laughs> user error. All right, let's get to it. First things first, we gotta clean this thing off and uh, pack her in. If you don't know what I'm doing, this is my eight hour maintenance on, uh, on my John Deere mower. If you don't know, uh, the maintenance schedule is inside of the manual. It's good to read those from time to time, but the first one is very simple. If you have a manual PTO, you gotta inspect it. This one's electronic PTO. Um, and you have to make sure that the, um, <coughs> the front tires are greased. That's pretty much it for the eight hour one. So um, this will be a quick video. All right, let's get to it. It looks like, oh, sorry. So I went ahead and started clearing this already. Um, you can tell, it looks like they really packed this thing with grease uh, before I even bought it. So I guess that's a good thing. These little guys here, these are called Zerks. This is a Zerk fitting here, or that's a Zerk fitting. And I just have to, there you go, make sure it clicks. And we'll start giving it a couple little pumps here. Let me see if we can see what I'm doing. See, I'm just pumping it like this. And this is a brand new tube, brand new grease pump. So I suspect it's going to take quite a few pumps before I see any results. There we go, now it's, there we go. I don't know, can you see that? I don't know if you can tell right here, we got some grease pumping out. I think we're good. Come on, let go.
things are tight. It's hard to get undone. Luckily with these little lawn mowers, you can just turn it by hand. I doubt it's that easy to do on a real tractor, but real tractor. I guess this is a tractor, right? Is this a tractor? You guys let me know in the comments. It is a lawn tractor. I don't want to insult any ag tractor owners by calling this a tractor. Where's the other one? Ugh, this one is packed. Let me get something to clean that up with. Seems like all of this gook would not be good. But I don't know how you would not have this on here. I mean, you're smothering everything in grease and then you're driving through the dirt. How's it not gonna get dirty? trick to that guys let me know in the comments I'm guessing I'm not supposed to pull straight out so I try to pull it at an angle but that doesn't really seem to make a difference there's got to be a trick to getting a zerk zerk with a K I think it's a zerk to getting one of those off or disconnected that seems like a lot of trouble let's see what we have here you see how it's coming out right here on the bottom and then this guy here he's there's a tiny little overflow in the uh, there's a tiny little overflow in the back here that you can see and then we'll check out the other side all right one second I had to put you guys on pause for a second to turn the wheel here you can see the fitting and it's bubbling out right behind it here you can see the fitting and it's bubbling out right here so I know I'm good and packed but I'll uh, I'll turn the wheel a couple of times just to spread that grease around in there but it should be good all right guys I guess uh, I'll go ahead and put you on the back of my truck here while I say um, say my goodbyes but more importantly that I say thank you to you guys all of the, all of the uh, subscribers that I have Right now, you guys, um, you inspire me to keep doing this. So uh, I realize this video is super short. I'm not gonna drag it on for no reason. Uh, I'm, I just wanted to bring you along to show you uh, the one, the first maintenance that I had to do on, on the new John Deere 170. But uh, again, leave me a comment down below. Would you consider a lawn tractor to be a tractor? I mean, I guess I kind of do. It doesn't have hydraulics, but I don't know I know I realize it's a tangent kind of off topic but also leave me some comments down below if, if, if you got a special trick for getting the zerk fittings off because man I had to really fight that thing and I think I was pulling it wrong it's my first grease gun so I'm pretty sure I did something wrong <laughs> anyways as always you guys be good to each other stay awesome and uh, I'll see you on the next one In, uh, oof. all right, let's try that again. <laughs> I'm already dirty, so why not get a little bit dirtier?